Welcome back to Tenslide Info, a channel which brings you the latest info on defense and aviation in a clear and concise way. South Korea launched a 3.7 trillion won, $2.6 billion program in 2023 to acquire new heavy lift special operations helicopters, and this video will provide the latest happening with this program in a quick manner. The two helicopters which are competing with each other are the Lockheed Martin CH-53K King Stallion and the Boeing CH-47F Chinook. The CH-53K King Stallion manufactured by Lockheed Martin is a front-runner in this competition. This machine boasts impressive lifting capacity and advanced features, making it a valuable asset for battlefield transportation and special operations. In order to win this deal, Lockheed Martin, through its Sikorsky aircraft arm, is exploring the possibility of setting up a CH-53K assembly line in South Korea, potentially in partnership with Korea Aerospace Industries. As per the defense sources, it is said that South Korea is planning to procure almost 18 helicopters through this program, and according to Sikorsky, they have every intention of having all 18 aircraft assembled in Korea. The decision on the new helicopter and the potential for a domestic assembly plant are significant developments for South Korea. This move would also create jobs and contribute to the development of the country's aerospace industry. When these helicopters are delivered, the new fleet of special operations aircraft will replace aging special operations choppers and search and rescue helicopters used by the Army and the Air Force. So, that was a small video to provide an update regarding the latest happening with South Korea's Heavy Lift Special Operations Helicopters program. The Tenslide Info team will keep tracking more progress made with this program, and will upload more videos to see if Boeing or Sikorsky wins this program from South Korea. Thanks for joining us today on Tenslide Info. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on both defense and aviation topics. Thank you.